Thank you. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lungi. Hi there, and if you are new here, you're most welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your love and your support. And on today's um video, we have Usabel Siwagatava, who's also going to be sharing her journey of being a single mother. So we're just trying to um find out from her what is it's like being a single mother. And as you've seen from the previous video, we had interviewed Undonto. If you have not seen that video, I'm going to link it up here so that you guys can watch it. And I also interviewed her daughter, Andeswa. So if you've not seen those, please check them out. But right now we have Osalo Siwe. So Siwe Njani. Yeah, Pierre Njani. Yeah, Pierre. Thank you so much for being on, um, on today's video. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, I'm Sabeli Siwe Taba um, from KZN, currently residing in, in, in Bethlehem Free State because of work. Um, what else <laughs> What else can I say? <laughs> you can tell us about um, your childhood and then we're going to get straight into the pregnancy and how it was for you, how you found out, and everything in between. Okay. So, I I was, or oh, I am, a firstborn of um, three girls. My parents had three girls, and I was the first born. Uh, and then both my sisters passed away, mm -hmm. and then both my parents passed away oh, as well. Sorry. So I'm only left with Uma mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. Shout out to Uma Mnane. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So tell us, take us through your journey of being pregnant. How was your pregnancy? How did your partner find out? Ugu to yeah. you were pregnant and the emotions behind it. Was it something that you planned? Jay. Okay. I it, it was definitely nothing I had planned and um, yo, um, the way I found out it was because I was seeing physical changes in my body like my boobs were bigger my face was big and I was like hey there's something wrong there's mm. no way I can't be gaining weight in certain places this land is say catalog <laughs> So, um, and then that certain day, Jay, I was cooking upre and chicken biryani for the very first time. And then chicken smelled weird for mm. me. And then I've heard stories from people saying that, ah, why is the chicken smells weird? There's something <laughs> wrong. Of course. Of course. Mm. So I, yeah, it was a hunch. And then I asked a friend of mine to buy the pregnancy test for me. And I got tested on the 3rd of Feb. Yeah, so yeah, that's how I found out. So I was pregnant and then uh, the baby daddy, yo, Osiam, and we were not in speaking terms then. Mm -hmm. And I had to swallow my pride, take a picture of the pregnancy test and send it to him. Then when I did, I saw that he, he did not respond immediately because I was... I was so not okay. I was crying. How, how long have you guys been in, uh, not speaking at that time? Like a month. Yeah. A month or so. Yeah. So like I had to swallow my pride and call him. And then when he did not um, respond to my WhatsApp, he had not seen it because I was all it like in, in so many emotions. I was crying. I just had to call him. I was like, hey, dude, something happened. I'm not okay and like no slow down what's happening and then i was like hey i'm pregnant it's like ah there's no way there's no way <laughs> there's no way like i go i sent you something on whatsapp again on whatsapp mm. and then he was driving he had to stop somewhere and then yeah and then he was like okay i see isandra isak he pregnant it's just thing I'm, uh, I'm like i just told you <laughs> i just told you that i'm pregnant it it's mine he's like ah there's no way mm. so oh, it was a lot it, it was a lot and i was staying at a friend's house with her family and things were were hectic and um 
I had to tell them I'd like, like after maybe like after three days I had taken the pregnancy test then they were like hey, babes we cannot have you here anymore sure so you need to find yourself another place to stay because we can't accommodate you and your kid since they lay your own now and you were doing you a favor so it was hard it was hard I had to move and stay with my cousin's family luckily it was not far from where i was staying so yeah sure hectic stuff wow so i just want to find out were you raised by uh, both your parents yes mm. i was um when i was young uh, i was raised by both parents and then before they actually died i had to move and stay with Uma Ngane. And um, and then from there I went to our boarding schools. But growing up in J from a childhood Diami, I was raised by both parents. Mm. Yeah. So would you say um, what effect do, would you say your childhood has on your parenting style? Um, I'd say um, judging by the way my parents raised me, because they literally tried to give me everything it's like they knew they were gonna leave me very early at a very early age so i don't think i've reached that level yet because even with Uman and i it's the it was the same parenting with my parents in Teotons. we went in Teotons, they try and give us everything that we want mm. so with my son at the moment i don't think i have reached that level of a parenting with Nami and trying to give him everything because I've just started a journey here independence so I'm still just trying to find my feet but I'm trying as a parent as well and I'm learning it's my first child so I'm learning along the way so with a parenting you know, uh, luckily enough for me I'm not the only one parenting my son there's like I'm saying there's my, my aunt a grandmother she's doing a lot um mm. so at least i have or grandmother i have people from church mm -hmm. that are a family and helping me and guiding me we say hey in ghana this is what you do in ghana this is how you talk to a child this is how you're supposed to do one two and three mm -hmm. for a child so that he understands he grasps whatever that you're giving to him so yeah but in terms of parenting i don't think I don't I know I don't I have not reached the yeah. level that I want to reach yeah it's a learning process yeah, you have to process. give yourself grace so um baby daddy is he involved is um are you guys still together yeah mm. he is um he's there for emotional support because at the moment um, he's currently not employed okay but when I gave birth I was the one who was unemployed and he was trading forex and everything was going well for him so he was the one taking care of our son okay. uh, in terms of like finances and all of that him and his mother okay. so when I started working so Nami I had to step up as a parent on behalf of both of us so he's still in the picture yeah he's there for support yeah he's okay. there he exists if you would have done um things differently what would you have done uh, differently especially in terms of raising a young boy um firstly i i wouldn't have gotten pregnant at 22 to mm. be quite honest because uh, Nami, as much as I am a young adult, but I was still, you know, just trying to find myself. Yeah. Didn't have anything, no source of income or anything like that. But then it has happened. It's part of my journey. I'm learning. So um, I think the only thing I wouldn't have done was not protect myself in games in their own anyways, because I was not supposed to do it. Mm. So, yeah. I was going to protect myself and 
try and do because any do AC could my like I um 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 because we're in the NGO world and isn't the like having protected sex protection this is how you use it so it's information that we have in you mm. as general knowledge within the household so I I feel like I should have used the information <laughs> but then yeah, but now you using but the story now, to teach yeah. others okay so what message would you give your future self uh, uh, a message I would give to my future self is that um, slow down trust the process lean more on God and stop trying to do things on your own and um, rely on the people that are there as family and friends in your close circle and give yourself a break you're not going to get it all right all at once mm -hmm. and j it's a learning curve it's a journey j just trust god along the way and then yeah okay i'm a single mother myself so i know what say it gets hectic it becomes a lot as mm. j it's not just a financial thing emotionally as well and just energy you need energy to raise kids so i just want to know what would you uh what do you wish you knew before becoming a mother like things that nobody told you about like nobody prepared you but it's gonna get this yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh it's the whole journey because yeah, you're like me. yo <laughs> motherhood is here not doing a lie ziabuya yo nobody ziabuya <laughs> uh, nobody told me that you're not always going to know what to do yeah really. and i think that was very frustrating for me would see it sometimes i really don't know what to do my dear so yeah you know and no good thing yeah but when you're frustrated sometimes nothing i think i said to the yeah and then you realize it when i'm talking to you i'm really mixing you're very innocent frustrations i'm again so yeah 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 there's in Ghana there's a lifetime thing there's no taking a break in between <laughs> even when you go to the even, loo, even, they know. exactly exactly <laughs> yeah. yeah it's a lifetime thing shame i i what do you I like never. about um parenting um uh i can say that for me it has helped me to discover myself uh it has reintroduced me to myself and um and it it has given me e, 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 what's this what what can i call it it's given me a drive i have like i literally have somebody to wake up for mm, in the morning so for. yeah I, yeah i have something to live for as much as thinking as a corner you know mm. but then I when think. i think yeah yeah <laughs> and then when you think of it so if i give up now what is this person gonna do so and another thing it has um it has made me realize and it has kept me praying to god with me and would say hey i don't want my son to lose me at a very early age um i at every stage of my life i still feel like i still need my parents and i feel like some of the things that happened wouldn't have happened if they were still around mm. So it's something that keeps me going so that I'm here for this one. I am able to leave a legacy for him and he can say, Oh no, this I got it from my mom. Yes. Uh, I'm not suffering. I'm I need to have mm. because my mom worked for this and that and I have that so I don't have to worry people around yeah. me. Yeah. Sure. And the dislikes of being a parent what are your dislikes or like your least favorite thing about being a mom my least favorite thing well i don't know yes i don't know or you i don't know? remember yeah i don't remember mm -mm. 
So at the moment, at the moment, it's, it's, not, it's, it's not just moments that you have when you're like, yo, no, no change. <laughs> can I get yeah. a break? <laughs> yeah. Because when you're sick, good. like sometimes you're just sick and you just want to be by yourself and you really just want to have your moment and then the somebody who's depending on you even for food or just tying the shoes so <laughs> yeah. yeah maybe i can say it's those moments but there's not really something or anything in particular that i dislike about being a mother mm. yeah there's nothing so far okay and then any prospects of having another one uh -uh. No. <laughs> Not in the near future. God forbid. Hey, whoa. No. Not even after 10 no, years. No, 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 no. Okay. We, um, we will right. hold Lisa <laughs> Mia accountable and we will play this clip one day <laughs> when she's asking for Hopefully a baby shower and we're like, yo, no, Tina's right. We didn't budget for I, this. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 yeah. Won't. But I just want I Usabe to say, sorry, to mm -hmm. say something, especially because she's in. Uh, NGO and obviously she works with these things. I just want you to give a message to the young people who are watching and Especially those who are preparing themselves to be parents or who'd like to be parents at their young age What can you tell them like? Um, especially young young people. What can you advise them? Um, for those that are already expecting J on already on the journey of expecting to be a parent, um, I'd say get yourself um, in an environment where you will get all the support that you need because you will need support. You're young. Um, you, I mean, you still need parenting yourself, and J. You mm -hmm. need guidance from Abantabadala. So I'd say get yourself in an environment and know that uh, there's no such thing as a perfect parent. We're all learning. Even yeah. our parents, I'm sure, now, but they're still making mistakes along the way because it doesn't come it's with a manual. It's, it's very tricky. tricky. Wow. <laughs> and then um, another thing is that... Um, just because we, we can't turn back the hands of time just embrace the moment and try to be umama all over right to be a mother that you want or you wanted for yourself uh, and then for those not now <laughs> Um, until Uzube financially stable, you at least Ube Nezindo Oifuna, you achieve something for yourself, get yourself an apartment, a house, a car, uh, further your studies, a Abazal Mabeti, Ubum Nandi, Nabafana, but paid back on, Nabakona, Vasitus, Botlakana Nabu, even Nasem Seven, everywhere, Aba paid back on, and you both have their corner and the Zobashi. You can wait if you can, please wait. Um, a Ingane, Angang is in it is of delays, but you'll take a bit longer to achieve yeah. some of the things that you want to achieve because there's this human being that depends on you and. Yo, a human being is expensive. Cool. Our pampa is very expensive. Eh, Lomundo will need to go to the doctor every now and again. Tolubo to you did not budget for mm. that. So Jay, it's a lot. A eh, school fee, see, like I said, a kid is a lifetime thing. Yeah. Uh, there's no taking breaks. Utwena, this month you're not financially stable, so I I was um hambisa aya somewhere else. Yeah. No, there's no such you got to have to budget for that person. So imagine you're trying to um, establish yourself and then there's this other person that you need to take care of. Sure. Yeah, it's a lot. So rather, achieve isn't then at a later stage, you enjoy ne pregnancy because you will not be needing financial support yeah. from anyone. You'll be doing things. I can tell you that you when you have a child and you have your own money, you have everything that you want. If you have Lulem Ackermans, you see a jacket that you like. Because you have money, yeah. by the end of the month, you can be able to go to the shop sure. and get it for yourself. So, uh -huh. yeah, just wait. 
and so you are so okay you are right mm, thank you so much for this uh session um thank you so much as well if you are watching this and if you relate to anything or you want to add advice to somebody who wants to have a child uh and you're a single mom or even if you are not a single mom just give people advice and let's see where and how we can reverse some of the things so that we do not repeat stuff but otherwise thank you so much for watching remember to subscribe bye bye <laughs>